Hello everyone and welcome to Post to Post. My name's Neil and I'm coming at you today with a ranking video, a logo ranking video, the AHL, the American Hockey League. And yes, I have done this video in the past. You longtime viewers will remember it. It was over three years ago, maybe almost four years ago that I've done this video. It's been that long, so it's long overdue to kind of update this because you know what? My tastes have changed and I actually don't know what I did rank first or last or anything in that video. I have no idea what the what was a result of that ranking. I'm not gonna go back and look at it until I'm done this video. So it's gonna be interesting to compare my results here with that one and see how much my tastes actually changed. I really like the NHL, but I love the AHL when it comes to some of the branding that happens in this league. It is, it is one of my favorite leagues as far as logos, branding, jerseys. They do such a great job. And you will see a bit of a trend in this video. So um, at the end, we'll kind of discuss it a little bit. But I've ranked these 1 to 31. We're going to go through them in, in reverse order. 31 to 1, my least favorite to favorite. Shout out to Eric for the jersey. Shout out to Josh for the hat. I know they don't match, but this is the only AHL merch I got. All right, let's get into it. Number 31, I have ranked the Chicago Wolves. This is one of the few logos that I actually don't like. And uh, you typically, in, in the past, I do rank animal logos quite high. And fierce animal logos at, at that. That's what this is. That's a wolf. It's fierce. It's pissed, which is awesome. But it is so... I don't want to use the word low effort. It just feels unfinished or rushed, maybe in a way. It is three-dimensional with lots of elements, but it doesn't feel that way because it wasn't really designed properly, I guess. It, does, it lacks a bit of dimension for me, and uh, it's, it's, it's too busy, I think, in the face. It just, it just loses me a little bit. Number 30, the Bingham Devils. Uh, Maybe a little bit too cartoony. I like the implementation of the helmets on the logo. Uh, the eyes are kind of cool. The, the dark side is, is awesome, but the light side doesn't really... I don't feel that intimidation factor too much. Uh, so, uh, the teeth also, like, it's the devil. I don't want to see some, like, jagged teeth. I don't want to see some perfect, shining teeth in the middle. Let's give me something to be scared of. This does not scare me. Number 29, the uh, Toronto Crown Royales. <laughs> or Crown Royal. This That's all it reminds me of, honestly, the Marley's logo. I just see Crown Royal logo in there in the bottle. Um, that's there, I, There's nothing specifically wrong with this design wise it's a great representation of the of the toronto maple leafs brand or the the toronto brand in general when it comes to hockey that's great but my mind the fact that i've seen that and i've you know the first time i saw it, i i made the connection i can't remove that connection from my mind so every time i see that logo that's all i see and that's strictly what this logo this ranking comes down to just that number 28 the stockton heat <sighs> There's not really anything wrong with this one. It just reminds me of a basketball logo. And I don't know if it's the colorization of maybe the orange on the outside that looks a little bit like a basketball. I know it's more yellow than it is orange, I guess, technically. Or the, the shape that's in the middle, or the, the fact that everything is kind of circular other than the that little squiggle of the S in the middle. Uh, yeah, I just feel like it's a basketball logo and not a hockey logo. Number 27, the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. Love the colors. Blue and orange are one of my favorite color combinations, but all this awkward like sweat that's coming off of it and or movement, it's just, it, to me, he doesn't look intimidating. He looks like he's getting his neck run and he's trying to get away. And uh, that's that the, that's not the vibe that I want from a hockey team. I want to be intimidated and this just looks like he's trying to get away. So uh, I just don't like the expression. I don't like the angle. I don't like all that sweat or whatever it is on the outside. That's it. Also, the elders fighting elements here with the text along the top is it's quite huge, uh, as 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 well as the tiger's head. So, what is the primary logo? Where where does my eyes go first? And uh, there's a bit of conflict there. Number twenty six, the Rochester Americans. Really, nothing wrong with this one either. Just comes down to personal preference. To be completely honest, uh, it is a fine logo, but it is maybe a little bit too simple. And uh, it looks great in a jersey. I, I do like their jerseys but maybe just a little bit too simple. And uh, sides more on the side of maybe baseball with the textual kind of uh, logo. I prefer no text. Number 25, the Lee Valley Phantoms, or Lehigh Valley Phantoms, sorry. Uh, I remember back when they used to be the, was it the Philadelphia Phantoms? It was something Phantoms. I'm pretty sure it was Philadelphia Phantoms back in the 90s when I used to watch AHL games in Fredericton. 
and the Fredericton Canadians, the St. John Flames, the St. John's Maple Leafs, all that stuff. So that this logo, I, I think I remember it from back then. So I have a bit of a, an emotional connection, at least in my head I do. Maybe that's a fake memory, but uh, I feel like I've seen that logo forever. I do like it, but again, it comes down to the text. There's not great balance here. There's fighting elements, and for that reason, it is ranked low. Number 24, the Providence Bruins. This is basically the Boston Bruins logo. There's no innovation here. There's no, there's nothing new at all. It is just strictly the exact same logo, but with a P instead of a B. That's fine. I get. I understand the branding. I understand the, the affiliations. Those are really, really important, especially in the AHL. But it's just I, I prefer to have a team with its own identity. The affiliation is fine. That is awesome. Put it on the shoulder patch. Don't make it the primary brand of the individual team in the AHL. Have it have its own personality, its own being, and then string in the affiliation on the side. That's just my personal preference. Number 23, the Belleville Senators, for the exact same reason as I just stated. It's great for the brand. It, it, it makes sense that way, um, but it, I find it doesn't have its own singular personality or entity. This is just kind of the Ottawa Senators farm team, which is exactly what it should be personal preference. 22, the Iowa Wild, <laughs> for the exact same reason. This is basically, it looks like an alternate Minnesota Wild logo, which is fine. Uh, textual, which is maybe a thumbs down for me. Um, great for the brand, not great for Neil. 21, the Laval Rocket. <sighs> it is just an R. It is boring. I like the color, uh, I like the shade of that blue. It is nice. Um, it does have its own identity. They could have definitely chosen, uh, you know, some Montreal Canadiens logos and stuff to use. They didn't, which is great, which is why it's ahead of the other ones that we, that we just looked at. But it's still not that great. Number 20, the Tucson Roadrunners. I love all the elements in here. The skates, the mitts, the stick, the intensity on the face. He's wearing a jersey, which is awesome. He's got that shoulder patch on the... the uh, the crest there and um, the, the font is unique but again what is the primary element is it the logo itself or is it the graphic itself of the Roadrunner or is it the text I would prefer just to have him on the front put the text on the shoulder or put the text on the front and put him on the shoulder either way number 19 the Charlotte Checkers this is pretty good it's modern I like the silhouette of the skyline on the top there it looks a little bit like an ice cream cone and uh, it's 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 balanced. I don't want to say incorrectly, but it's not it's not symmetrical. And I prefer symmetry in logos, especially when you have two symmetrical shapes. This whatever that is, the, the ice cream cone co cone coming up, that is a symmetrical symmetrical shape. The weird banner thing that's holding the text that is distorting it, which I don't really like, but it's still it's symmetrical. Then you got this giant polar bear head or bear head sticking out the side, which looks awesome but it, it ruins the symmetry of the logo, and for that reason, I had to rank it in the bottom half. Number 18, the Rockford Ice Hogs. Very cartoony, and that is really the only thing going against it for me. The expression is great. It is modern. Uh, the, the text itself has, has dimension with bevels upon bevels upon bevels. There's white, black, blue, and then black, and then, and then uh, so that silver, which is, which is great. It, it looks very good. Uh, there is shading in the face of that hog, and uh, it's all contained in one big thing. Yeah, there's a big guy, a big hog, and yeah, there's text, which is huge. But the way that they've implemented it and blended it together into this one big element is perfect. I really like that. It's just a little bit too cartoony for me. Number 17, the Texas Stars. Very simplistic logo. It does work well with the, with the brand, but I feel it also maybe has a bit of identity in itself. So they did, they did a good job appreciating or... Um, staying true to the affiliation, but also having a bit of personality themselves as well. So uh, I, I do like this one. It is, it's odd to see a horizontal horizontal logo like be that wide. Usually we see round logos or gen generally round logos. Uh, this is very uh, landscape oriented, horizontal. Uh, definitely, definitely an oddball. Number 16, well, I guess this one is <laughs> very similar. Uh, the Cleveland Monsters. This is, this is great. I love the colors. Uh, the colors are awesome. I, I really, really like them. The, the text is, I love the font. The font is great. It balances okay, 
but still I would prefer just to have that guy on there and maybe just remove the word Cleveland maybe just have monsters kind of incorporated a different way or something I'm not exactly sure this one's a tricky one for me but I love the colors uh, and it's modern it's the shading is, is lovely uh, next up number 15 the Hershey Bears typically not a fan of this color combination but it is it's very subtly done uh, it is very respectful it's simple get the bear on there it's all contained in one graphic the, the text Hershey is easy to read bears isn't really typically easy to read but uh, you understand what it says. It matches the, the uh, shape of the bottom of the circle. There's a hockey stick in there. The bear looks pissed. He's got his claws out. Yeah, this one's, this one's decent. Color combination, eh. Number 14, the Ontario Rain. So this is very close to the early 90s or late 80s um, Los Angeles Kings logo, which is iconic, like super iconic. It is not really that nice of a logo, but it is so... Uh, recognized not even just in hockey but in like fashion throughout the years throughout the decades uh, and this is it's kind of like the New York Yankees logo or uh, I don't know like the Boston Bruins like big iconic teams that have been around forever and that's the vibes I get from it as a logo itself it is not that pretty but emotionally I have a connection with it even though I don't really know anything about the Ontario Reign I've never cheered for them I recognize that branding and that logo and uh, it, it feels different. It feels like they have their own personality with this because the LA Kings do not use this specific branding anymore. Um, they've moved on from it two or three times over. So, weird one. Number 13, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. I actually prefer this logo more than the Pittsburgh Penguins. He's buff. Look, man, he's been working out. He ain't no Phil Kessel. <laughs> Uh, he's got some intimidating eyes, although he looks like he may be on some drugs, potentially. Not exactly sure the drug, um, but he is he is wired, and he's ready to go. He's got gloves, he's got skates, he's got a stick. The shape in the background matches the brand. Uh, not sure about the, the red gloves, though, but yeah, otherwise, this is an awesome logo. I really like it. Number 12, the Syracuse Crunch. Awesome. Uh, the text not only is unique, it has it has personality itself from within the text. It is cracking and breaking, and it's bending, and you can see the dimension to it uh, just stringing back. It's its own shape. It's not just text anymore. It's not just font. It's its own graphical element within the logo, which is awesome. He's breaking through with a stick in the other hand. I'm not real sure about the whole visor thing. He looks more like a pilot than he does a hockey player, but he's pretty buff, and uh, the colors are great. Uh, I, re I really like this one. Um, this one, this one's pretty great. Number 11, the Utica Comets. Very simple, I, but I like space, okay? If you put something that represents space or the stars or aviation or anything like that, I'm going to like it quite a bit. So you get the puck in there, going through space like a comet with a nice uh, trail in the back. And uh, it's, it's, comets are made of ice primarily, so it makes sense to the world of hockey. And the colors match the branding of the parent team which is the Vancouver Canucks so it has its own personality but it shares the branding in the color scheme which is a, a really smart decision it's its own identity but it still has a relationship with the parent team number 10 the Bakersfield Condors love the colors I love that bright orange but then this almost like deep desaturated ocean blue it is perfect I absolutely love it definitely some conflict with the text and in that uh, condor itself However, it looks like he's almost interacting with the text a little bit, as if the stick was on top of the text and he's ripping it off and flying it, flying away. So because of that, it almost becomes one element and the, the text isn't just like off on its own. So I do like that aspect. And he looks pissed, which is awesome. Number nine, the Colorado Eagles. Strictly like nostalgic vibes. I get mid 70s, early 70s kind of vibes here. There is nothing special about this logo whatsoever. But I really like their jerseys. I like their branding. Um, it's just I'm I'm used to seeing this logo. I have a bit of I guess emotional connection to it, so I, I have to had to put it in my top ten. Number eight, the San Jose Barracuda. So it's a little bit close to the San Jose Sharks uh, branding. The S and the J in the background there is maybe maybe shouldn't have been pulled from the San Jose Sharks. However, they've done a really good job matching the colors, but but giving the team its own personality with the creature itself. Uh, with the Barracuda, and it it looks devilish. Like it is, it is so 
angry and pissed and it's about to take a slap shot or he's winding up for the one timer the eyes are deadly uh yeah this is this is pretty good so li maybe a little bit busy lacks a a little bit of dimension would have been cool to see the the tail of the bear could go maybe through the top of the s or underneath like the top hook of the s something like that come out the back uh, number seven the hartford wolfpack very busy but the text is angled it almost looks like the hollywood sign a little bit it's just kind of like angled a little bit and uh, you can see see the actual shape of each sing singular letter which is great the colors are fantastic and that that wolf is absolutely he's pissed he's gonna he's gonna rip some stuff up and uh, he's kind of breaking through the top so i am i'm a big fan of this one i always have been number six the henderson knights the newest team in the ahl so this was done so damn well i mean when you think about the vegas golden knights and their branding and just the general shape of their logo to, to take the henderson knights and try and give it its own personality but still match the branding a bit so you got the the golden knights and the henderson knights so you could make them gold but then they would probably be called the golden knights so you have to strip the gold and give them their own kind of branding themselves so you stick with silver i mean knights are usually wearing chrome or silver or something so that makes perfect sense yeah the team should have the exact same colors that were chosen here the general shape of it totally matches the vegas branding and then you've got that you know the horse head in the middle which just is simple but intimidating at the same time uh, just so well done so well done number five the san diego gulls the expression maybe is a little bit cartoony, but the colors are, man, this is probably one of my favorite color combinations of a team in any sports. Just the shade of orange that was chosen, like a like a sun-drenched, desaturated orange, and then that bright blue, like, sunrise, like when the, when the sky is just starting to light up, and you get that real strong blue before it gets to midday blue. That is, that's awesome. I love it. Hockey stick, uh, glove and uh kind of contained all in the shape unique font big fan of this number four the uh, grand rapid griffins i mean this is probably the most intimidating logo of, of them all potentially this griffin is not just big he's ginormous he is coming over the city of grand rapid and he's just he's ripping it up he's about to go to town on the other team he is he's absolutely pissed the, the font is cool the whole bottom section of this logo, you know, we just removed the griffin. Just the whole bottom section, the way that that was designed was was really, really great. I'm a big, big fan of this one. Number three, the Springfield Thunderbirds. The colors are so good. I It is just, it's just perfect. It's not, it gets the message of intimidation across by keeping it as simple as possible. Like, this is a no-nonsense logo. It is... There's nothing crazy going on. It's symmetrical. The colors are perfect. The font is easy to read. There's a nice little just like stylization just in a couple of spots on the top here where there's some shading and on the bottom. Um, just an, uh, just a really perfect logo. I'm a huge fan of this. I would love to have a t-shirt uh, with this logo on it. Number two, the Manitoba Moose. We did a March Madness best logo uh, bracket series. It was a five video part series last year on the channel ton of fun ton of fun this logo made it very far if you haven't seen that series please go check it out we spent a lot of time doing it and it was a lot of fun didn't really get a lot of views which was disappointing but it was so much fun uh, doing it do it all over again this made it far it was in the top for every single person all four of us in the ranking or in the the bracket as judges and uh how could it not be this is this is a phenomenal logo and it matches the parent brand so well with the, Win with the winnipeg jets same color scheme but uh the moose you know the canadian moose is just in there and i mean moose are dangerous like i've the, i've never been super close to a moose but i know not to get super close because they can be very aggressive and uh this guy looks pissed and that is awesome and number one and it is not intentionally because i'm wearing this jersey the milwaukee admirals i think four years ago when i ranked these i put this first and uh, Eric sent this in because he, he knew that I'm a huge fan of this logo and this brand. And uh, Eric, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I just, it is the perfect logo for me in any sports. This doesn't have to be hockey related. It's just, you have someone, not an animal. You have a person or used to be a person in this this skeleton. He is looks to be maybe like a pirate or something. It, it, it builds mystery. Who was this guy? 
and the colors work right together. It is symmetrical. Um, it's all contained in this one thing. It is not. There's not a bunch of stuff going going all over the place. It just. It just. It just works. It honestly just works. And my favorite part of the logo, which is so insignificant and silly, is the top of the hat when you've got that A for admirals, but it's made out of bone. And it's just the way that it's shaded and drawn is is utterly perfect in my opinion. So I'm a huge fan of this. Not a biased ranking because I'm wearing this jersey and because someone sent it in. I'm quite certain that four years ago, four years ago when I did this ranking, that was number one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Go back and check if you'd like. It's on the original Post to Post channel. Um, but um, I'm going to check out for this video myself, but I'm quite certain this was definitely first or second for sure. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comment section which AHO logo was your favorite and which is your least favorite. If you want to do all 30 or 31, I mean, <laughs> that would be awesome. I read all the comments. I hope you guys are having a really good day and I'll catch you soon for another logo ranking video. I got some jersey concepts coming. I got a contest coming up. I've got all kinds of good stuff. Subscribe if you're not. Hit the like button. That helps a lot and I'll see you soon. Adios.